The White House now has released this list of terror attacks the president said the media is, is downplaying or not reporting on, right? Uh, that's right, Anderson. I have it right here. Uh, 78 attacks uh, since uh, September of 2014. And the White House is careful to say that most of these attacks were not reported on adequately enough. But Anderson, just going through the list, there's no scoring system or grade system here to say, OK, these attacks were uh, covered adequately. These attacks were not. And, and most puzzling of all, Anderson, inside this list, uh, you, you see mentions of the Paris attacks uh, where 129 people died, the San Bernardino terrorist attack, uh, the Nice truck attack, uh, and so on. And, and as you know, Anderson, these are all terrorist attacks that we covered days on end, not only here at CNN, but uh, other international news outlets around the world. So this appears to be a talking point that is in search of a set of facts that just doesn't exist. Uh, the other thing we did not get an answer for is why the president made this claim today that the news media uh, are not reporting on these attacks. He said, I think you know why to those military commanders today, uh, but no explanation was given as to why the news media would not report terrorist attacks uh, given all of our coverage, it's just not true. All right, Jim Acosta, thanks very much. And keeping them honest, as Jim said, not only did we cover many of the attacks on that list the White House has released, we covered them heavily, I know, because I was there on the ground reporting a number of them. 360 was in Ottawa, Canada, October two, uh, 2014. That's on the list where a gunman killed a reservist at the National War Memorial where he was on duty at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I was also in Orlando last June. That was on the list also after 49 people were gunned down at the Pulse nightclub. I know because I flew there right after the news broke. December 2015, that was also on the list. San Bernardino, I was there. 14 people killed and 21 wounded in coordinated attacks. This was just a month after I reported on the carnage in Paris where terrorists killed at least 130 people and wounded hundreds more in a series of attacks across the city. We were there pretty much all week. To be sure, we as a program did not cover each and every incident on the list. However, other programs, as well as CNN International, covered most, if not all of them, many of them exhaustively. 